Welcome back to another video guys. Today we're going to be talking about how to quickly create 3D text and how to make it look good in Photoshop. So I'm going to be using Adobe Dimension because Photoshop has slowly been phasing out their 3D stuff and there are other ways and other programs you can use to make 3D text. It's pretty simple on Dimension and it's also pretty simple in After Effects. I haven't used Blender, but if you're going to start getting into 3D stuff more, I would probably advise something more complex like Blender. But for 3D text, we will use Dimension. So first you go over to the text box. You're just going to click on that. It's going to pull up text. Then you type in right here what you want it to say. Pick your font. We've been using tungsten and you use these arrows to move it around in the scene. If you click up on the top left, it shows you the dimensions. Uh, so I'm going to change the resolution to 300 pixels per inch and change the canvas size. I usually work in a 1080 by 1350, so I want to make the quality and size of this 3D text as an asset really big. So I'm going to do maybe just double the 1080 so I think if you type in 1080 star 2 and then do the same thing over here 1080 star 2 and then if you hit control 0 it'll take you out to a wide view of it so what you want is you want the text to basically be um, at the edges. We don't want this drop shadow down here so we're gonna go to environment and let's see yeah we're just gonna take off the ground plane so we'll go back to text and we're gonna mess with the depth so you want to make it like reasonably thick that's why you're doing 3d text I would say about there is what I'm gonna do actually maybe a little bit thinner I might bring these letters a little bit, yeah. And then I'm going to tilt it up. You can tilt it either way. It just adds like a little bit of, you know, something extra. You don't want to be looking like directly at it because you want the 3D aspect of it to like really be showing. Otherwise, there's no point in doing it. So I'm going to tilt mine forward so that you can see the top of it. And then we'll go down here to bevel in the bottom right and turn that on and so there's different types of bevels um, I think my favorite one to use is the classic outline you can change the width of the bevel I'm gonna go with something like that for now and you can change the angle which is just like the amount of uh, I guess like height that the bevel has so I'm gonna make it reasonably uh, tall and wide that stands out and then this next one is a repeat so you can just um, add more strokes I guess to the bevel and I don't really mess with the space one um, so once you have that you can go up and mess with the color and you know element type and so for the sides, I'm going to pick rainbow. We're going with like a purpley green look, so I'm going to choose purple for that bevel. I'm going to choose the same thing. And I like how that looks already. The face will make it green because that's what I plan on making the face. And the colors don't even really matter too much in the element or in the 3D software because you're going to be changing the colors later and manipulating all that. So we'll go with, what does this look like? Don't like that. Uh, okay, we'll do. Nope, don't like that either. I'm going to do metal, but just change the color right here to a neon green. And 
what you want is to separate the colors that you're going to be manipulating later so that it's easy to manipulate them in Photoshop. So this green stands out a lot from the purple, so we shouldn't have any trouble with that. Um, you can go down here and change certain aspects of the um, color and elements. I'm going to make it a little bit brighter just so it stands out a little more. And yeah, there we go. That's what we want. And you can make it translucent, I guess, which is kind of cool, but uh, I don't think I want to. I don't think I want to deal with that right now, so we're not going to do that. Um, that we'll leave as it is. And okay, so side. We won't mess with the colors on the sides or top. I mean, that's kind of cool, but it gets less metallic -y as you mess with it. We'll leave that as is. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is export this. And you want the quality to be as high as possible. So I'm going to click high, slow. I want a PSD. I don't just want a PNG because um, I'll take it out of the PSD. So, and this is the text in the PSD as it popped up. So first we are going to convert this to a smart object bring it over into here x that out it gives you some other things that you might could use but we're not going to use any of that so i'm going to bring this down and center it and so the next thing we're going to do is separate these two we're going to we're going to duplicate this layer then go in and separate separate the inside from the outside so we're just going to use the magic erase tool to cut out all of the green innards which just leaves us with the purple outards and then we can duplicate that we'll make one layer for this and then one layer will be the opposite so that we can affect each thing separately. And we'll also duplicate this. Bring it up here. This will be our exported look. So now that we have this, we are going to begin to edit each different part of it. So to start out, I'm going to try a few different things for this inside look. We'll start with this one. This one's pretty boring. Don't think I'm going to like it. And what you want to do here is you want to size it to where it looks like it fits. So the outer edge is slant inward. So we're going to pull this in to kind of match the inward slant of the 3D look will make it look more accurate so I don't love this one so far I mean we could change some of the layer styles I mean something with that could be pretty cool but one of these I think would be better I might just leave it like that then we will go to the outside and make some adjustments to that so first we're gonna mess around with the brightness That we wanted. So I want it to stay contrasty, but I want it to be kind of brighter, maybe. That looks pretty sick. So we'll do that. Come back over here. Maybe give this an outer glow. this lens flare online so if we can see if we can use this so if 
that to screen. I'm realizing now that I need to make the background green to make the outline of the text stand out better. I'm going to do linear dodge add for both of those. And normal for the bottom one. And then tweak this outer glow. So what you want to do at the very end, just turn the text into a smart object, go to warp and then just mess around with warp a little bit and see if you can make it a little more interesting by pulling some of the edges around and just making it look a little bit different than your average text would look. And I'll just keep mine fairly simple and then we can add a drop shadow so you can see how much more interesting that text is than it was even going from just a 3d export to taking into Photoshop and messing around with it um, so if you have any questions any more tips feel free to comment let me know uh, like the video and subscribe